Living in One Valley neighborhoods say they are fed up with the parties in an Airbnb house on their street. But as 13 Action News reporter Tom George explains, they're only telling half the story. Tom. Yeah, well, this is something neighbors are obviously fired up about. You can see their bright shirts here. Our homes are not hotels. Don't hotel my neighborhood. And because of that, the city tells us actually getting those permits are hard to come by. They haven't actually issued that many of them because many neighbors say it just isn't a good fit for a residential area. But the homeowner says that's only half the story. On this street, a battle between neighbors wanting peace and quiet and what they say has been an Airbnb party house. We don't know who's in there. Could, are they building bombs in there? Are they getting ready to uh, stockpile weapons and ammunition? Uh, we don't know what they're doing in there. They've made bright shirts saying don't hotel my neighborhood, sent out messages on social media, and even videoed guests to see how long they're staying. They're all good people here. Yeah. Everybody, and I swear to God, they're from the UK. Um, Australia, we got Singapore, um, they're good people. Short term rentals aren't allowed in the county and in the city you need a permit. These neighbors took their case to the city and won for now, getting a recommendation to deny the permit. But the homeowner off camera tells us her neighbors are ganging up on her. She says she's playing by all the rules and says Airbnb also allows long term rentals, something she may have to do if her neighbors get their way. It's a violation of our rights to actually have peace and quiet in our own little ni nice neighborhood here in Summerland. Now, in the meantime, that homeowner is continuing to rent the house out on Airbnb until this is resolved, but she says she isn't planning on fighting it, and if it doesn't go her way, she will still use the Airbnb app, but maybe we'll do a more long-term rental. Now, nothing's been set in stone uh, in terms of this decision. A final decision from the city council will be coming on June 20th. Reporting live near Alta and Durango, Tom George, 13 Action News. More than one. All right, well, remember that. Well, right now we have a 13 Action News update tonight on that tiny little kitten rescued after being trapped in an underground pipe for hours. It was right near the Rio. Well, that kitten has now been placed with a foster family where he will complete his recovery. And when he is ready to be adopted, he'll go back to the Animal Foundation. And we are all very sure that he will quickly find a forever home. Yeah.